Peace forever and always. And of course, you know I am the mighty one, the most powerful voice on YouTube, the Angel Snub Nub 7. I'm just being a little casual here. Just want to speak with us for a few minutes on this subject of Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman, this uh, case that has made uh, national news that so far has been given great attention. I would like to say for me, I cannot speak for anyone else. Just because I am called a so-called African American, just because I'm called a black person, many Caucasian persons and others just assume, just assume that I have made this Trayvon Martin George Zimmerman case a matter of race, I consider that it is a hate crime. Whether this is a hate crime or whether it is self-defense is up to the justice system in this nation. There is no vigilantism in this nation we are supposed to depend on the justice system to determine what is what. Unfortunately, also, the justice system in this nation is corrupt. It is filled with races. It is filled with people who are incompetent. It is a system that needs to be refurbished. I am not calling this situation a hate crime, but I am looking for justice. No more, no less. But justice in America is something that black people, we know, it is a fleeting thing. It is abnormal. It is normal for us to be mistreated, to be done unjust. It would be a normal thing if indeed we are giving justice in a country that has not given us justice for over 400 years. So why are we shocked? Why should we be shocked that this person was never charged with a crime, never arrested. It is not no shock to me. Let me tell you a, a quick story. Now, many of you know that I was unjustly incarcerated. And within that incarceration, I have heard many horrible injustices not just by black people, but by white people also. Here's a quick story that I have found to be true from a black man that was incarcerated with me. He said, one night I got high. One night I got drunk. One night I got drunk and high. And I went out into the street fumbling around you know how it is, some of you, when you get drunk and high, you can't hardly walk and you stumbling and you falling. So he was walking down the street, stumbling and falling. And when you get high, especially I heard, I don't know because I, I don't do drugs, but I heard when you smoke a lot of weed, you get the binges, you get hungry. So he was going down the street and the brother got hungry. Just so happened, he was in front of the store 
and he was not in his right state of mind because he was high. He was on these drugs. But he saw some Twinkies behind the glass. And he did not pay no attention that there was glass between him and the Twinkies. He just reached out to get the Twinkies and he smashed the glass and got all cut up and everything and he fell on the ground and the burglar alarm of the store went off and of course law enforcement showing up at the scene now this man was immediately arrested and he was charged with burglary now, it is clear that this man was drunk. It is clear that, that this was not a burglary. He was not trying to run away with a Twinkie or, or nothing. But he was charged with burglary. Then they brought psychiatrists on the scene. And while he was still in his high and drunk state of mind, he was declared mentally ill over a Twinkie. Now, guess how long over a Twinkie, guess how long this brother was incarcerated for stealing a Twinkie that he never got because the glass broke him, cut him up, and he fell on the ground. This man and I saw his records. I saw what was written. This man was locked up for 30 years over a Twinkie. Now get this. He was immediately arrested for burglary. There was no homicide. There was no dead person. At the scene of this crime of stealing a Twinkie and at that time you could buy a Twinkie for 30 cents so for every penny that that Twinkie cost this man was locked up for 30 years over a Twinkie but this is expected this is expected and this is the norm and most black folks we know what happens to us in the so-called justice system and the problem here is the lack of justice I could care less if you want to make this a hate crime I could care less there are questions here that need to be answered the first question is nobody is I mean who cares if this man has the right to self-defense that should be determined after you are arrested if you can arrest a person because of a Twinkie then I am very sure you can arrest somebody and charge them let them make bond and do what you're supposed to do that's what's supposed to happen you are supposed to be charged make bond and then let a court, a jury, determine whether you had the right to self-defense. Just like this person here was immediately arrested for stealing a Twinkie. What made this young man suspicious? That's the question. You just walking down the street and somebody, you just look suspicious. What made this young man look suspicious? Why are you carrying a gun? even though it's legal why are you carrying a gun following this person that the authorities told you to leave alone but you decided not to but and you end up killing this person you're not charged with a crime you get to go home while that person goes to the morgue and that person cannot speak they cannot tell you their side of the story of what happened. 
I saw when I was locked up. Well, actually, when I was going through my ordeal in the so-called justice system, I saw white people facing 15 to 30 years being in the system ever since they were juveniles. They get probation while they were sending black people to prison and jail. I saw a white guy. I saw a white person get released and within three months killed a white little girl, bash her head open with a brick. I saw a white man get released and within a few months he raped a, a white woman. But here I am. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I never did anything criminal in my life. They holding on to me for dead life. There are two types of justices or justice system in America. And we as black folks, we know about it. We are used to it. There's one for Caucasian people. One for rich Caucasian people. And then there's one for the poor. And there's one for black folks because even Caucasian people can get the raw end of the deal sometimes because they want to show that we're not prejudiced I saw a white man get a parking ticket and he did a whole year over a parking ticket that cost less than fifty dollars so there is injustice for all in America but of course as we know Dark people, black people, and the poor are specially targeted by this justice system because basically this so-called justice system is about making money. That's what it's about. Exploiting the poor. It's not about justice. So Trayvon Martin's case is not about a hate crime. If that's what it is, so be it. It's about just simple justice. This man should have been charged with a crime just like this brother was charged with a crime and immediately arrested for trying to steal a Twinkie and then he paid the price of 30 years over a Twinkie. Think about it. Jot down your comments. My time is out here. But we know we may never get justice in America. That's why the real solution is separation. Jot down your comments. Oh man. Oh the sun is coming up. All right. I just want to continue our little talk. And uh I don't know this Trayvon Zimmerman thing. It's on uh, many people's mind and it is on my mind because I just don't like injustice. No matter who the victim is, I don't like injustice. But if you look out at what we call American society, whereas the majority of the people in this nation are Caucasian people and they control the law, they control education, they control the media, they are the ones in power here. So we who have been their victims ever since we've been brought to the shores of America we have to watch them because we don't know what they might try to do to us because they're always making mockery of us. They're always trying to find a way to lock us up, mistreat us, discriminate, lie on us. We're used to those things. Then, of course, you have those Caucasian people that are like that and they know how to smile on your face. And they stab you in the back. This has been going on a long time. So I'm looking. It's not no shock to me. 
that so many Caucasian people or white people are coming out of the woodworks to defend George Zimmerman. They don't even care anything about their own law because under the law of the United States, regardless to whether you are innocent or guilty, and in the United States, you are. You are innocent until proven guilty. That's what they say. But at the same time, you are immediately arrested. This did not happen in this case. The police or whoever decided we're not going to arrest this man. It's not up to the police to determine guilt or innocence. It's it's up to the prosecutor to file charges and it's up to a jury to determine should you go to trial to determine innocence or guilt. But clearly, we don't care and many Caucasian people in this nation, they are praising George Zimmerman. They are happy about how all this turned out. Why is this? But at the same time, these same people will try to come to us and pretend how that they are good, they are just, they are fair. How could you support George Zimmerman when he was not arrested? It's about justice. It's not about race. It's about simple justice. You don't want justice. But see, I understand the mentality of so many, not all, even if I did not say what I'm saying about not all, they would assume because they are tricksters, deceivers, and liars, they will automatically say, he said all white people support George Zimmerman. <laughs> oh, deceiver. And you wonder why you are called Satan. You wonder why you are called devils. But the reason why so many Caucasian people, white people, are coming out of the woodworks to support George Zimmerman is because in their mind, he is a hero. In their mind, they want to murder a black person and get away with it and, and not get charged just like George Zimmerman, I have read the comments all over YouTube. Many of them wish that Hitler was here. Many of them wish they were George Zimmerman. We need more George Zimmermans because in their minds, they want to go back to the good old days and y'all smiling and skinning and grinning you don't understand. Look at the mentality. I love YouTube. Do you know why I love YouTube? I love YouTube because you can hide behind a picture. So when these Caucasian people can hide behind a picture, they can really be who they are. And that's a good thing. And they could be your best friend. These could be the same Caucasian people that would tell you in person, oh, I have black friends. I love Martin Luther King. But they can go on YouTube hiding behind a picture and express exactly who they are. And some of them tell you who they are just by what they say. Some of these Caucasian people say, we need to win America back. Got to get we got to get America out of the hands of this mulatto president. They call him black, but we know that he's a mulatto, but he's we don't like it. We don't want America to be represented by any dark-looking person, mulatto or black or whatever. We need to get America back. We need to return back to the good old days. Now, 
what is the good old days when America was this and when America was that? Now, what is a good old day for you may not be a good old day for us because not long ago, black people in this nation, we were being lynched outright. Uh-oh. Mm. And when we were lynched, when we were raped, when we were discriminated against, there was no legal consequence, sort of reminds you of the Trayvon Martin case. There was no, there is no charge. I can just say self-defense and nothing happens. So this makes many, unfortunately, and I know I'm sorry, but, well, I'm not sorry. I'm telling you what's right before your eyes. Look at all the Caucasian people that support George Zimmerman because in their mind, they want to return back to the good old days where black folks knew their place. There was nobody like Talik Ibn Ra speaking. Somebody like me would be assassinated quickly or lynched outright. That's the good old days. And on YouTube, they do the same thing by false flagging, terminating your channel, cyber terrorism, cyber lynching, cyber rape. It's the same thing. Y'all think that you are living in a different world when it's really the same. Just because you can talk on YouTube, just because you got a good job, just because you think because you supposed to be educated, you think something has changed. Just because you married to a white woman, just because you married to a white man, something has changed. Ain't nothing changed except how the game is played. And there will always be a game. There will always be something to be played because there is no justice. And the Trayvon Martin case is a primary example of the justice system where you can kill black people and there's no consequence. And Sometimes you can be arrested, but later on, they will set you free. This is our experience. And brothers and sisters, if you sleep with dogs, you're going to get fleas. So I really don't get involved in this activity because I care about the murder victim. I care about Trayvon Martin, I care about Sean Bell and the little sister in Detroit and those brothers and sisters killed by black folks. I have a passion and I hurt for those that I did not know that was that uh, suffered great atrocity 400 years ago. I feel for our people yesterday and today and tomorrow. And that's where my mind is at. I will continue to fight. That's where I'm at. But y'all don't. Are not like that. Pretty soon. The steam will run out. And Trayvon Martin. Will become. Something of the past. And of course. We are always told. Uh, forget the past. Don't linger on the past. But if you notice. They don't. They still celebrate George Washington. They still talk about 9-11. They still talk about the Holocaust. They still talk about all their history and all these things. The reason why they don't cry out is because of their position in life. They don't have nobody. They are the oppressor. They are not the victims of oppression. See, there's a difference. When you're not the victim of oppression, why should you care about too much? When you are not the underdog, so they can say the things that they say. But when they are under pressure, when they are under attack, you don't hear them talk all that nonsense, turn the other cheek, and forget the past, and all like that. I can guarantee you, during World War II, and all their conflicts, they did not say, forget the past. Don't you know that as soon as I speak, 
the words that I just spoke went into the past. We need to really stop being silly and we need to stop falling for these tricks. The bottom line is, is that these uh, George Zimmerman supporters want to kill a black person. Well, what about some blacks? They support George Zimmerman too. You always gonna have Negroes, you're always gonna have Sambos, slaves that are going to support their massa. In slavery, you remember they had slaves beat and torture and kill other slaves for the massa. So that's not no, we know what that's about too. Jot down your comments, my time is out, brothers and sisters. This is a murderous nation, and really, you need to get out of it and leave her and her wickedness. Jot down your comments.